afternoon pop up scope. Oh, excuse me, guys. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a 30 volume developer so that you can kind of see the oxidizing process and how it actually goes through the color stage system. Um, a lot of times it may take about, you know, 20 minutes to, to do and then it depends on the, um, it depends on the hair. So what I did was I have the peroxide in here. I'm going to show you. I'll take my 20 volume developer and put my peroxide in. Okay. And then I'm just kind of mixing. Just a little bit. I'm folding it in. Right? So I'm getting it like that. Okay? Just like that. Okay? Just like that. And you want to take it. Because remember, it's oxidizing. A lot of times when you see um, it starts swelling, that's what's happening. It's oxidizing. So you just want to be care uh, Just take your time with it. Okay? Just take your time with it. Okay, just take your time. Now, right here, what you want to do when it comes to your um, your your hair extensions is you want to lay them out. I see so many people at the shampoo bowl and they're just, you know, you want to lay it out so that you can have an even consistency. But what you want to do is the first thing you want to do is you want to fold, fold that over, okay? You want to take your lightener and you want to lightly... Uh, brush the actual container here. Okay. The ends normally on natural hair, when you are doing a hair color, you're going to start with the, um, um, the base of the hair. Okay, or the um, midsection of the hair, I would say, all right, which is this section right in here because it don't penetrate that quick or that easy. Now, when you're doing on your scalp, it's going to penetrate quick because your body heat is going to help um, penetrate that color. So what I would do is, this is what I do. I go right here on the shaft of the hair and I actually color down just like that. I do not go to the ends. Now remember, the bottom is already being done because I already put the developer with the lightener at the bottom, okay? So what I'm going to do is you go in right here at the end and just bring it in here. It's okay. You can, you can do that here. You want to saturate that real good. What you need to do is take a cardboard box and lay that cardboard box out. And you could also use your hair and lay your hair out. Take a staple gun, something like this, or a big staple gun, and staple your, um, right here up on the edges. A real small staple gun, not big, okay? Um, not the big heavy-duty one. And staple that all the way across the board. So that way it can get, uh, it can be evened, okay? And then you lay that, um, those, that aluminum foil over it or plastic or whatever you're going to use. And you brush the lightener on the bottom and put that hair on like that, okay? And put your hair on like that, all right? So I'm going to put a little bit more on. So what, what this is doing is it's penetrating. It's actually, it's actually um, penetrating now. I will wait to do the new growth area, which the new growth area is on the top right in this section here. Now to help penetrate this, you can also put a, a aluminum foil on top. You can put it under dryer just a little bit, you know what I mean? Do what you need to do uh, to get this hair penetrated. But really and truly, it's going to actually penetrate on its own. You don't need to do any, you don't need to help it or, at all. Okay, it's going to penetrate on its own. Um, the thing about when you're doing a hair color on hair wefts or and you want to do a custom wig is you're going to get five to ten business days before you actually have that custom wig ready right so you're going to take your time and do your color you want to make sure that it's even all over and you get the nice consistency that you need for your customers so they can come back 
All right. So um, I'm actually looking at it right now and actually going through the uh, decolorization uh, process. The decolorization process are which really are like undertones, really, to be honest with you. If you look at it, it on the level system, it goes from dark to light or light to dark. Right. So it, it start going from the darkest color and start working its way on up to the lightest color. However, because I only use a 30 or a 20 volume, if I use a 20 volume, it's only gonna give me a 20 level of lift. If I use a 30 volume, it's gonna give me a 30 level of lift. 10 volume is not even gonna do a deposit really, but all the 20, 30s and 40s and things like that, they are gonna actually deposit um, onto the uh, hair shaft. So what's gonna happen is now, if you see it, I'm not sure if you can kind of see it, it's coming through a little bit. It's going through the decolorization process. And what happens is, is with the decolorization process, after it's come through, you're going to start seeing, hey, Cynthia online, thank you for joining. You're going to start seeing the different colors pull through that, okay? So it's so important to learn a level system when you're actually doing hair coloring to your, hey, when you're doing hair coloring to your, um, your hair tracks, okay, before a custom wig. It's very, 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 very important um, to learn the level system because you can do it wrong. And it, when you get it wrong, you're going to have to do the process over again. It's going to take more time and more money, all right? So what I did was I actually just on a luminal background, hey, Tanisha, hey, Cynthia, I just on a luminal background, I took my hair and I actually stapled it across here. You can actually do that on a foam board or whatever you use. Uh, to color your hair tracks before you do your custom wig and you're going to um put the the uh, lightener at the bottom okay on on the of the luminal foil and then you're going to take the hair track and you're going to lay that hair track on top and then put it on the the lightener on the hair shaft you always use gloves okay but for this process i'm not really touching the chemicals so as you see now, I'm not sure if you can actually see if my light is showing, it's going to what's called a decolorization process. So you're going to start seeing reds, blues, it's going to go through blue, red, yellow, all of that, okay? I'm not getting into the color theory and things like that when it comes to hair coloring. That's a whole nother process. But law of color is, is what you need to learn before you do this. Now, notice, notice on a natural hair, on natural hair, the... Sh the um shaft takes longer to penetrate okay that's why in my class my lightning class you will learn what's on base and off base lightning so which one to use in which you know uh process or which um t uh, in the timing that you need to use it in so on natural hair like if i'm using my natural hair and i'm lightening my natural hair what happened is is the sh the um the um excuse me the scalp area penetrates quick because of the body heat. The body heat is gonna penetrate that lightener, that uh, the lightener, and it's gonna go like that. So that's why you always see difference in the scalp versus the ends. So you do the ends first, you do the base first, or you do the shaft first, and let the shaft penetrate to a point, you're like, I like that, and at the end, you go back in and do this area here, okay? Yes, that's why the colors are so different. So you always do the shaft first. It is any anytime you have virgin hair, you do the shaft first. Let it sit. Even it may take 20 minutes. The reason why it takes 20 minutes, anytime you are in doubt and you don't know what the developer to use, you always use a 20 volume. 20 volume is only going to give you a two level of lift. So on the law on the level system, if your if your hair is black or brown. You're only going up two stages. So you're only going up to maybe a light or a medium brown. So that's why people go and put 40 volumes and stuff and create a mess. So you just take your time with color. Okay? You don't have to try to go in with a 30 volume right away, especially if you don't have a, your speed is not fast enough. All right? Stick with the. Now, I want you to see that. See that? This is called the decolorization process. All right, I took the hair literally from this color here, which is black, to this color right here. All right, this is a single process. 
All right. And I use a 30 volume with this color process here. All right. So this is a lightener. Um, I use some really good lightener that I use. Seven, it's called Seven Stages. Uh, you can use that lightener as well. It's, 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 yeah. So the color going through. So I'm going to let that sit for just a quick second. You can also take aluminum foil and you can put it over it and allow it to process a little bit more. But my thing is, is if you're a first time color person, um, don't, don't leave it. Let just keep looking at it and watch it as it goes through the process. I love to to see when it goes through the process okay there's also another process another technique that I use that I actually do in my training class and that is when I can't tell you <laughs> but anyway I just want you to see it yes the foil also create a heating process but in the class you would learn um, what on base and off base uh, lighteners are so you don't even really need the foil to actually create the heat you can use certain types of lighteners to create that heat for you and literally if you use a certain type of lightener you can and you use the foil you can actually feel the heat and sometimes you smell the you smell the um, the lightener which is not good it over processes the hair okay so that's why it's so important to use certain type of lighteners if you go into your stores or whatever and you like look behind on the back of the uh, manufacturer direction it'll tell you which type of lightener it is and where it goes you have on base and off base um lighteners okay and everybody always use on base lighteners and i'm like why is my why it didn't come out right okay maybe you're not using the right type of lightener all right, and remember, this is a um. You have three stages, to, uh, three struck, three stages to the hair. And you got a cuticle, a cortex, and a medulla. And when it comes to permanent hair coloring, or when it comes to lightener, it always penetrates the cortex of the hair. So that means that it gives a permanent change. You cannot go back. Once you do a permanent change, that is it. It is going to alter that hair, just like with natural hair. When people would color on natural hair, it has altered that hair to a permanent change. It will not. Re it will revert back with cut with um, products, but it depends on the type of products you use. You have to go through certain. I've only found one company really, uh, which is Lion's Mane, that would actually help that hair to revert back to its natural pat curl pattern. But if you use uh, on natural hair, if you lightening the hair. You are altering the permanent um, or the cortex of the hair. So that's why your hair will not revert back like you want it to revert back. Girl, you are so pretty, Tanisha. I'm so glad that you came out here. Yes, I did. I'm so excited. Look, this ain't the last time we're going to meet up again. So I just wanted to show you guys. I want to show you if you guys can see. You see it? It's going through the brown stage. You see that? You see that? I'll show you. It's going through that brown stage. Oh my God. And see, sometimes you may have to do a double process depending on what the customer wants. So if they say, I just want brown, this will be fine for them. But you, you have to let it penetrate. Sometimes it takes up to 45 minutes, literally, for that hair to pull through and you know, and you start seeing those different stages that it's going through. So right now it's in the brown stage. So like again, I said, it took I took it from this stage here, which is black, all the way up to this here okay which is one color all right um don't worry too much about the end you can color the uh track part but don't really worry too much about the track part because you're not going to see it anyway when you're doing a custom wig okay so i just wanted to show you guys that little technique right there um i like it the way it's going through and then at the end once you get it to the color you want to get it to then that's when you go in and you do your um you do your ends here or your um, root area.